So welcome to all of you who have signed up for this course, Ihsan 400, Fundamentals of Ihsan, which really discusses uh, all the concepts involved in our Tawheed and explains to you the totality of that Tawheed. So what I want to do in this uh, very brief kind of introductory talk is just give you an outline of what the course entails, what it, uh, the structure is like, uh, etc. So first we'll go through the structure. Inshallah we will have 12 weeks composed of four modules, each of three parts, each part being one week. So I've given you the dates for the module for one, two, three, four in the table and then the due date for the assignment or the assessment for each module. So you will have four assessments, one per module. The assessment um, should be released during the course of that module, giving you sufficient time to complete it, right? So it won't, uh, it won't wait till the, we won't wait till the three modules, you know, content is, is over. We'll release that. It will mostly be a, sort of a thinking question and you will be expected to respond to that based upon what you are learning in that module. So the four modules, as we've mentioned before, the first is the organization of the cosmos. 
That will run from February 11th to March 2nd, inshallah. Assessment will be due March 3rd. Second one, composition of the human being. That will run from March 3rd, inshallah, to the 23rd. And the assessment will be due on the 24th. The third, role of Islamic worship in the cosmos. That will run from March 24th up to April 13th, inshallah. Assessment due the day after. Uh, fourth module, Islamic Cosmology in the Context of World Religious Traditions, which will run from April 14th to May 4th, assessment due. Well, there, uh, it should be May 5th, I think. So, um, we will keep in mind that Ramadan will fall somewhere between module 2 and 3. So, rest assured, your, your coursework is not going to hinder your Ramadan. Rather, it is going to enhance it, I believe, and it is going to elevate your connection and your ibadah and your understanding of what you're actually doing during these blessed months. Um, and I don't think it should be a problem with uh, handing in your assessments on time. If there is such concerns, please, of course, get in touch with me. Now, in this slide, uh, you may want to pause it and read it carefully i won't read every line but i have just uh, put down some learning objectives that uh, you should kind of prepare yourself to gain from the course and then also expectations from students so for each module we've done a outline of four fundamental objectives let's say uh, in each of those of course we we can go into in depth what I think I should cover is what uh, is expected of you as students. So firstly, you are expected to pace yourself to cover each module's uh, three lectures in the given three-week period. All three lectures will be released together for you. It's up to you whether you want to watch them in a day, whether you want to pace yourself and have one lecture per one week, uh, etc. Right? Uh, however, uh, the assessment for those three uh, lectures will be due at, on the date that I have mentioned in the in the table in the previous slide. Now you may contribute to the online discussion community via lecture video commenting. We are expecting to uh, use YouTube as the platform and these will be private uh, YouTube videos uh, with the links only given out to registered students. Please do not share those links. Uh, this is copyrighted material. Uh, so you may comment on those videos so that you can interact with your ideas to each other. You may also pose your questions there, but I cannot guarantee that I will answer them, especially if my answers will interfere with, you know, being fair with the assessment and, you know, I can't give out answers, things like that. But you can always also email me. Um, now, you may form your own unsupervised learning group, so I will leave it up to the students as to how you want to contact each other and, and form those groups. Once we have a, once we, once we know who is registered, we can open that up. Now, you may contact uh, the instructor, that's myself, uh, during office hours, and we will determine that also depending on the number of uh, students in the course, and we'll email that information out. Now, uh, for the learning objectives, I, I can't read all of it, but basically, the first module will have a lot to do with appreciating the organization of the cosmos, the different dimensions, and uh, what we understand as reality, right, as true reality, as truth, as reality, understanding also uh, the, the journey of our ruh, um, how time works, etc. Excuse me, I need to uh, understanding how time works, understanding what qada and qada is, understanding how the word cycles, etc. Second module, uh, understanding who you are as a human being. That is the core objective of this module that you understand in a very deep way. The um, the powers, the essences, the capacities of the composites that make up you as the human being, uh, which is a very great and exalted creation of Allah. Mm -hmm. 
and how those composites, those uh, capacities, those powers, those abilities uh, communicate with the one who created them, with Allah, our Lord. Third module, you will uh, understand the deeper cosmological connotations of Islamic worship. Right. So we understand it now, not just in the capacity of the mulk, what it does to us in terms of, you know, health and well-being, but in terms of what its role is in the cosmos, in terms of how it affects other creation, how it is perceived by the angels, uh, how it changes your, for lack of a better word, your aura and how that is perceived by uh, the jinn, for example, of which our enemies are are amongst the jinn, the shayateen, etc. Hmm? Fourth module, we will put all of this in the context of world religious traditions because as you know, our deen, we do not reject other traditions. We accept them and we say ours is the sort of, I like to say, the most recent update of the software. The final version, the one without any bugs, <laughs> the one that is meant to last. So. Our, our religion gives us the tools and the abilities to understand not just other religious traditions, but ancient traditions also, ancient civilizations and cultures. And we need to renew that knowledge. We need to understand it so we can understand who we are as modern human beings and understand how to move forward in this world that is very rapidly changing. Uh, we are in the digital phase now. We were in the industrial phase. We're moving into the digital phase. And then as, as we advance in this phase, we will understand how in, incredibly important it is for us to understand ancient human beings as more and more of their truth has been revealed by modern physics and astronomy and cosmology, etc. Uh, I think this is the last slide. So how will the course be delivered? It's going to be pre-recorded uh, lectures released at the start of every module, as I said, by our private YouTube videos. Uh, links will be emailed to you. You may post your comments or questions on the video. I will exercise discretion in how best to respond to that. The emails will be, uh, sorry, assessments will be emailed to the student at the beginning of each module period. Or, depending on the type of assessment, maybe one week prior to the assessment due date, right? Especially if it's a multiple choice question, for example. And I will personally grade your assessments and I'm looking, looking forward to those. I think that's enough. That's it. So that should give you an overview of uh, everything the course entails. Uh, we are very happy. We are delighted uh, to have you join us at IRFA. Whoever who has signed up for this first offering, may Allah bless you. May Allah bless us by you and may Allah bless you by us. We are greatly honored and happy that you have chosen to embark on this journey with us and we hope that whatever we are able to teach you will benefit you, not just yourself, your family, your children especially. Mm -hmm your people around you, your companions, not just in your dunya life, but in your akhirah life also. So we will end by making salawat. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina wa habibina wa shafi'ina wa maulana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim taslim and kathira and kathira. And we make a dua to Allah that he will bless our work in this course as students, as teachers, as everyone who is helping. Um, Bless our state and, and protect us from all difficulties and obstacles in our path and elevate us and raise us and ascend us upon the path that he is most pleased with, Surat al-Mustaqim, by this course. And we ask Allah that he will accept this dua purely for the sake of his love for Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his love for our great mothers, Sayyidah Khadija al-Kubra, wa Sayyidah Asiyat al-Mukhlisa, wa Sayyidah Maryam al-Siddiqa, wa Sayyidah Fatimah al-Zahra. Assalamu alaykum, rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.